Everybody, it's Tiki, uh, Aaron, whatever you want to call me. I uh, just went through my first tournament of Dragon Ball Super. Um, I got second place, so that's cool, first time. And uh, now we're going to show you the winner. He's going to show me his profile. My name is Daniel. How's it going, Daniel? Let's see what you got. Today I am playing red, green Gotenks. Pretty much originally Gotenks was kind of meh. It still kind of is. Half his cards were pretty bad because you couldn't even use them uh, until too late. But now with the inclusion of a Gotenks leader, cards like Super Tamikaze now come out much earlier for the nice early game rush. Having base 15k Kamikaze tokens in general just make it way stronger since having a base 10, having to burn two cards just to stop the attack early game hurts way more. They'd rather tip their head. So you rush to the point where normally at first turn you hit them straight to three, or straight for, uh, for three damage, hit them for five. At that point they're already next to Awakened level. Every turn from then on, try to set yourself up with... Oh here, get them all out. <laughs> Mighty Mask, just a perfect follow up. Attack for 10, get a free hit, pop them out. Searching out for green trunks for late game and an extra. Go 10. For the tutor, for the tutor into 5 drop ghost attack. Essentially, the game goes for you is just rushing to the point where they're at 2 energy, getting to 5 energy, bringing him out. Hopefully having low hand, or if need be, you come into the play where you have low hand, so that every token that is already out in your field will now have double strike for the game. That's pretty much most of the end game. Otherwise, if there is a late game later on, I now run three piercing super playing two Gohans for the sake of at late game when they're at 15k and you have 50k tokens, they're just gonna really guard with simple 5k's. But thanks to Gohan, you now don't have to worry about that. They have to keep tapping out just to block with 10k or higher for every single hit. And of course he himself has double strikes, the Adam comes in. If they have enemies on their field to try to guard, they're all gone. In essence, that's the entirety of the deck is just rushing to the point where they have nothing going on. They have, have they have a large a large amount of hand, but since they have no energy, it's just rushing so early, they can't even use half of it anyway. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, that's pretty much the gimmick of the deck. Do you just want to see the whole deck list now? Yeah, let's right. see the whole deck list. So let's start off here, put this all the way first off. <laughs> Starting off with four full power energies. Mm -hmm. Never really need them half the time since you rush so much the opponent can't really keep up. But in the case it's needed, there you go. Three bundle curiosity in the sake of you don't get your kamikazes and you try to dig your deck even further to find them. Four trunks. Protector of Children, so you can search it out with Mighty Mask, or if you just draw into the forest. Extra 10k guard for late game, when you're trying to make their big plays as a comeback. Four Mighty Mask for the Tutor, for your free Go 10 and your free 10k. Here, where is this? Now that you have your Go Tanks leader, four goes Kamikaze. The max of consistency is for the sake of getting early games. You can always have your ghost tokens nice and early. Just the early cards. Going on to three drops. Four leap of, leap of the future trunks and go ten. So you have plenty of tutors. Since they naturally discard your hand, you have lower hand in general for go to passive, so you always get to discard as you attack. Where is it? And trunks. That was my last card ten. TN for the sake of they really never want to hit you and keep looking at the kamikazes to get rid of your field so you can level yourself or uh, awaken yourself up with their damage. Two energy power go tanks in general. On attack, 15k, discard. Piccolo's help. If you really have no field and it's really necessary, searches this back out from your drops, you get it back onto the field, as well as Prodigy Fusion, Super Saiyan Gotenks. Having him out with your Ghost Tokens increases way more pressure since he naturally has dual attack, two extra attacks in one, and he can also be targeted by Piccolo Cell, bring him back out of the drop zone. And three promo Gohans. Never really used, but in this case, I run it for red consistency, and he does have double strike pressure late game. Oh yeah, sorry. Four. And finally, to the finishers of the game. At 5 energy is when you really want to start going for end game plays, which is why running 
four, just text Super Saiyan Go Tanks. Gotta get them tokens out. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get them tokens out. Yep. On play, I'm not gonna get three ghost tokens, and if it's late game enough where you have low hand and you have mid energy, I'll get double strike. Of course, the deck loses to anything that kills tokens, Kale, Bardock, uh, we can Sun Gohan or Sun Goku, because they naturally kill your, uh, kill your field. At that point, just hold on to them. Wait until they've expended all their energy just to kill your tokens and rush you. Play this. Cool, get three more tokens. If you don't feel like you're gonna end the game on that turn, instead, play Super Saiyan 3, uh, Super Saiyan Go Tanks. Untap two, have two left over for guard, draw a card, and just have an extra double play attacker. And once again, like before, your final. Nice, and nice. Yes. Otherwise, that is the attack in its entirety. There you go, first place. Alright.